Hey everyone, so I've got food literally just about to be ready. So, um, but this just came, this big box. I can't actually even show you because it is so big. There we go, it is really heavy as well. So, um, I have got some plant pots in here, so I'm guessing that's what most of the weight is. I tried to have a little peek in, but I can't. I've got to un undo it from the side. So, um, let's do that really quick. My kids are so excited. They, they've got an aloe vera plant that they're going to be looking after, that like they're going to be in charge of it. And um, so they're really excited. Oh my God, I can't get this last bit out. Oh, there's an extra, extra one down there. Come out. There we go, opened it. Oh my God. I don't know if I can. <laughs> my kids are watching for the door. So it's open. Okay, so I've had to move the slip, but it is open. Ignore my mess. There we go. We've got two big boxes here and a plant here. There's the aloe plant. That's Frankie, so I'm going to get him out really quickly. I did get some more plants this morning. I'm going to put the clip of me with those after this because I didn't actually unbox them on camera. They were my very first plants to arrive and I was just too excited. I just had to get them out, but I did show them on camera immediately afterwards because I had some surprises. So um, stay tuned for that after I've unboxed these. And if you like the video, um, you might want to like and subscribe because I'm not going to be doing lots of videos on plants. Just maybe like once or twice a year, give an update on how they're doing or if I get new ones or if I kill them, which is very likely. We'll see how many I have left at the end of this year. Okay, so this is Frankie. Wow, he's way bigger than I expected him to be. Wow. He's got a broken leaf. He's got a broken leaf right here. I don't know. There we go. So yeah, he has got a broken leaf already, which makes her be happy about because she's got a couple of bites that she wants to put it on. So I have to prepare it properly. He's got actually a rip up here as well. Oh, so this is also from Patch Plants. And um, that's why he's, he's called Frankie. This is here. I'm, hi, I'm Frankie. They name all their plants, which I thought was really cute. It looked like a really good shop. And it told me what plants were good um, in my house, what ones are like toxic to kids or pets, how to look after them. I just thought it was a really good site. So um, I used that one. Um, so now I know which ones can go where, but they're all gonna start off in my bedroom. This is really nice. So I can't stop looking at it. It's really pretty. I like how it feels. Oh, it's got a bit of a wound here as well, just behind the the name. He's so cool. Would you like to have a look at him, Mitzi? Yeah. Just careful because there's mud from the bottom. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Thank you. The sauces are just there. Oh, you can put your snail in, in him as well now. Oh, wait, here. here. I forgot he's got a plant pot. Yeah, this is for him. This is for Ooh. Frankie. That's all that come in the top box there. Can I have that really quick, Mitz? Whoa! <laughs> Ruth's just come in and seen Frankie. That's a big elephant. He's not actually that big, but he's bigger than I expected. I think this little bit be like uh, like twenty centimeters. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, my girls are messing up the bed like crazy and moving everything. But this is the pot that I got with this Frankie, and the girls wanted to put this little uh, snail in here. I think this come from a Tupin box a couple of years back. Let's pop Frankie down here. That's just a plastic plant pot, that one is. Doesn't have any drainage holes in it. No, no drainage hole. So let's just get in the other one. I don't know how big this one is. It said, I think, between 20 and 30, but there was no option for a size. So you just get what you get. Whoa, okay. Okay, <laughs> I forgot this has got a nice plant pot. It's bigger than I thought. I don't know why, because it's really 20 to 30. But here we go. Thank you, my food. <laughs> Oh my god! <gasps> this is so beautiful! This is so pretty. It's big! I just got some more today and um, not as big as this. Look at that. I think those green markings, where it's a bit shiny, I think that's where it's been touched with hands. I think that's what happens when you touch these because they're kind of like, got like a covering on them. Um, 
Anyway, let's have a look at the pot as well. This plant is called Lila. This is such a pretty pot. And here is the clay pot. This one also doesn't have any drainage holes. None on there. Really pretty pot. Apparently this plant is a limited edition to patch plants. Let's try and get it out without making too much of a mess. It's got a bit more mud loose than any of the other plants I've unboxed today. <gasps> it's gorgeous. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to show you these all after I've eaten and I'll get back to you. Two seconds. All right, so I've finished eating now and I thought I'd have a bit of a better look at the plant and I've seen something that's really worrying me. I am pretty sure, in fact, I'm certain that this is rot right here. It looks really bad. And if I touch it, watch. It's super squishy. Oh my God, it's gross feeling actually. This is actually really good for me because um, it's not something you really know about. I don't, it's not something I talk about. It's just something I kind of mention when it bothers me. But I have a really weird thing about certain textures. Oh, I shouldn't have touched that then. A lot of these plants look really kind of fleshy. And I think they're absolutely beautiful to look at. But I've been a little bit worried about having them because I worried about the texture affecting me. This looks rotten too. And this and this. Oh, my God. I think there's something really wrong with this plant. But um, I thought the texture would probably freak me out, but I'm actually okay with it. But there are this one's quite flat compared to some others that I've seen, some other succulents have like really um, kind of bulbous leaves. I have tried to get some that I thought I might be able to deal with. <laughs> I like to expose myself to stuff I don't like sometimes, especially when they're this pretty. Like I don't want to like limit my enjoyment of things because I'm a bit squeamish I guess so that's the, probably the best way to put it I'm squeamish I remember when I was a kid and I had fish or just any time I've had fish I love fish fish are so pretty but cleaning the tanks always freaks me out I prefer if someone else does it for me because I don't know why I have like really friendly or sociable fish whenever I have fish when I put my hand in there they'll come and like nip at my fingers and stuff which is really cute but I always worry that I'm going to, like, my mind just imagines scratching one with my nail or something. So I'm just really scared of touching the fish. I don't I don't want to touch I don't mind them touching me, but I don't want to touch them. So there's just certain things I'm a bit weird about. Textures are weird. Same with foods. There's a lot of foods I don't like eating just because of the texture. Like bananas. I don't like bananas. And anyway, I'm rambling. But yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about this. And what I'll say is I'm actually a bit impressed with myself for squeezing that. Especially as it was so squishy. So those two that look really bad there, they're not squishy like this one. This one's really, really squishy actually. Oh my gosh. So that's gross. So I guess I'm going to have to contact Patch and just let them know and see what they say. Loving this plant pot. I've seen some really cute plant pots on Amazon that I want to get. Because I'd like to try and propagate at some point. But at the moment, I just want to keep them alive. Anything that's really pretty that I've wanted in the past, I kill it. Normally, the plant plants that, I, that survive are plants that have been gifted to me because they're easy looking after. And I've done really, really well with those plants. So hopefully this will be better. I'm going to take you over now and show you all of the plants that I've got today. So um, lately I've been wanting to get into plants. Really like my YouTube channel, I've just always just updated on things that I'm doing. And the last couple of years, it's been more about working on my mental health a little bit because I have so much trouble trying to get help for my mental health from the doctors. And uh, I heard exercise would help. So my new year's resolution for last year was to start roller skating and i didn't really pick one for this year and i know it's very late but i've now picked up i guess indoor gardening a little bit i'm not gonna go crazy on this um i have ordered a fair few plants but you know you hear that plants and things like this are good for your mental health and having your surroundings so i thought cannot hurt and plus i really like flowers I don't have a great history of looking after them. I can look after things that are easy. Peace lilies, cacti. Um, I had this red plant that lasted for a little while. And spider plants are usually the things I can care for. So I've grabbed up mostly easy plants. These are my succulents. These just came today. And I'm actually waiting for another delivery coming today. I wasn't expecting these today. But this one apparently is a rare succulent. This is a Cressula 
garnet lotus and this one's quite rare apparently and a lot of these can be propagated quite easily so i thought that might be quite fun to do as well make extras um i thought i was getting one of these uh echeveria uh glauca but i actually got three for like eight pound then when i was um unboxing them i noticed that they've got a lot of pups so these have got babies already they, this one's got five babies and this one's got five babies this one's got one baby and then this one's got nothing obviously um well not obviously but it's, it's got no babies so i'm gonna unbox the others on camera when they come i've got a couple of plant pots coming with those um just two plants in that delivery yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. And these are so pretty. This one's got like purpley tips. Uh, I think they go brighter than that in the summer or when they get more heat or light on them. And these ones are meant to be blue, like a bright blue. I have got a grow light that came today as well. Um, but I'm going to use that for... I've got some like leaves that for propagating and i thought i'd put them underneath the grey light um i got these so i got some like lip lithops seeds i don't have much hopes for me actually growing any seeds i have in the past grown apple seeds and they were doing quite well the trees i actually put them outside they got to out the point where they could go out there and um when i got my dog he ate everything that i was growing <laughs> i'm normally quite good at growing food plants outside yeah uh, I don't I don't really think I'm going to do that well on growing indoor flowers because I've got to do stuff whereas outside stuff often you know outside looks after it but um I'm not sure but I did do the apple seeds at one time so it gives me a bit of hope so maybe there's lip uh, lith lithops I think they're lithops hopefully they will grow but I don't really have much hope for that these are my first plants I've called these echo which is funny because these are echoverias echoverias um and I've got three of them. So I thought it was really funny because I already planned to call it Echo. But now I've got three. It's like Echo, Echo, Echo. <laughs> I'm a loser. But, um, and this one is called Garnet. I was um, tempted to call it Marcus um, for the uh, Roman leader. I think Garnet is a prettier name and a girlier name. Uh, I just think that works. And this is an old candle jar. I just thought they'd make quite pretty plant pots. I um I always planned on using them for plant pots, but I had no plans on getting any plants. But I'm a hoarder, so I, I find it really hard to throw things away. And these pretty jars, even though there's no candles in them, it's like, well, even if I don't put anything in them, they look really nice on the windowsill with the light shining through them. But now they can go on the windowsill with the light shining through them and have plants in them. So yeah, upcycled these. I've got a bunch of them as well. So there's that one and i think there's a blue one like this too yeah there's a blue one like this too and that looks more like it's got like flowers on it itself actually but that's still got candle in it so but i'll be using all of these as plant pots probably so super cute but yeah that is the beginning of my new indoor garden okay so here is everyone so these are my patch plants the ones at the front here these four um I have since gone around all of these ones with the babies on them because they had some dead leaves that I wanted to pull off. I also kept the ones that I thought might be propagatable, although I'm not really ready to propagate yet, so I won't be heartbroken if these don't work because I do have some plants coming that um, are already like from propagation from someone else has done them and I've just got to carry them on. So I'm hoping I can get them to work. So I don't really want too much on my hands, but... I didn't want to throw these away and just straight up waste them. So if I can get something, I'll try. So I took them out from underneath these flowers. Like there was a few more actual dead ones, like completely yellow, crusty ones. I took all of those off. I thought it might give these guys some more room. They probably will live around here for now because my window's just there. And so they're just in indirect sun sunlight here for now. And I'm just going to see how they get on. Um, I'm not sure, like... The soil is dry, like when I put my finger in, it comes out dry, but it does feel like it's damp, but not wet or moist. It's like, I don't know. I feel that like I'm probably going to kill them if I water them, I think. So I think I'll probably leave them a bit longer. They don't seem like they need 
the water. What I understand about succulents is that they can live off their own water for a while, so it's probably best to, if anything, let them need to be watered, like be a bit neglected in that way, and then water them. So, because I don't think they're in desperate need of watering, I'm going to leave them, especially as there were so many yellow leaves underneath, but apparently that can happen as well when there's pups. But there was also yellow ones underneath here, which actually, before I thought it didn't have any pups, but it actually does have two pups. So I've got, I don't know, I had, I've now got 13 from this order, just of these Glaucas. They might be blue, but they're not blue yet. I think they turn blue in the summer when they can get more sun, but this is so pretty. I wish I'd bought two of these now. They're so pretty. And then, yeah, um... So um, these are my patch plants, my Frankie and my Lila. I am concerned about them. Um, not so much with Frankie, but obviously he does have some wounds. He's got a, what seems like a bruise type of wound here. I don't know what the real word would be, but oh. And there's the, yeah, the part. I thought that was actually a different leaf from down there, but it's not. It's actually the leaf that's broke off of this. Um. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> So there's Frankie. He's got, like I say, he's got a little wound up on here as well. Just here. So I'll talk to Patch about them and I'll get back to you and see what they say. Um, and then, yeah, the rot on this one is a little bit concerning. Now I'm wondering if this isn't from touching or maybe it's from, um, from maybe there's rot in it. I don't know. I'm really scared because I don't think I'll be able to, to rescue one. Well, I think that's everything I need to show you. They they are all the plants I've received so far. I have got more coming. And then I've got these ones um, that I'm going to try and propagate. What else have I got coming? I've got a Kalanko or Kalankoe pink butterfly. I've got two rooted little bits. <laughs> and um, I've got six seeds, I think, coming from that. And I've got another <laughs> packy, packy, um shoot packy is it's a p and a p sound i can't remember what it's called but another succulent coming um well but it's actually just like a rooted leaf so you'll see how i get on with that and i've got like some actual planty plants <laughs> i've got a prayer plant a peace lily um and a few other little bits so i'll get back to you as i add to my collection Yes, so all in all, these four come from Perfect Plants. They come really well packaged. They came super, super quick. I think I ordered them like two days ago. So, so quick. And I got all these little pups on them. So that's like, that was a brilliant order. I love that. Um, if you do order from them, they actually have a discount code on succulents right now. It's like succulent 20. Um, so that's pretty good. And you can you can even include this, like these rare ones with that discount code. Patch Plants, they cost more than perfect plants and i had a a worse experience in terms of how they turned up the packaging was amazing so i don't know it i don't know maybe this one was actually broken before they sent it frankie was i don't know because it looked like that was kind of mm, place because i thought that was actually growing out of the bottom <laughs> but it wasn't it was actually just loose and then this one looks moldy so i'm not sure but we'll see how they uh, respond because it might not be like that they're just bad it's just, i'll just unlucky and they might help me out so we'll see i'll get back to you okay so i've spoken to patch plants about both frankie and lila and um lila by the way is a echeveria lilacina i think that's how you say it um they're going to replace both plants for me so that's great it was really easy as well i just went on their live chat and just sent them some literally just some shots from the video that i'd recorded just some screenshots and yeah she just said yeah i'll get re replacements rearranged for you and they'll be with you within like the next seven to nine days so that's the update on that so like i say um this is just a new little side hobby i'm picking up i've bought a, a bunch of plants i should have about 10 i think if all goes well maybe a couple more and then i'm just going to carry on with those and maybe add to it with time but i just want to start off with a little bit of a garden um I do like plants. I think plants are beautiful. I just feel really irresponsible when I have them and my heart breaks whenever I kill them because so I feel completely guilty. I want to separate some of these pups, but I'm scared. I don't know when to do it. And I'm not sure if the soil is... I don't know. I don't know if I need to water it. I think I should leave it and just wait to see if they start looking a bit poorly 
from being too dry and then water them then this one seems fine it's really firm it's lovely this one oh she's so beautiful oh i love her and i love lila and i do love lila but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to save her. i don't know how to save her if i can save her i don't i don't have a clue so if you know let me know i know a few of you from when i asked on instagram a few of you are actually quite enthusiastic about plants so maybe some of you guys might be able to help and maybe in the future if i have a bunch of these pups like like these if these pups turn out maybe i could do a giveaway and give some some of these pups away so yeah i will see you next time i guess um drop me a like below and i'll see you soon bye